welcome back to the Harrier CBX, which is a customer's repair. We're now in the receive side of this demonstration video. Now I've got it on the signal generator, we're on channel 20, we're on 2779125, and you're listening to 10 microvolts, which sounds absolutely dreadful. This must be where the customer's having a problem. Now, that's so dreadful that we are going to plump straight for adjusting the detector. So I'm going to put it up to a 100 microvolt equivalent signal, which is S9. I've got it on my oscilloscope screen. It is an awful trace and transformer 12. I can't just quite move the set far enough forward. I'll tell you what, we'll zoom out a bit. Transformer 12 is just there. You know, it's all for whatever we do. Let's hope that gets a bit better because it's still a bit uh, nasty. So we'll go through some of the uh, adjustments now. Transformer 5. Five, seven, and eight. Five. Wrong tool. Seven. This is now three microvolts. There must be a fault, I would think, because this is so bad. Eight. Nine. Oh, seven's not fitted on this set. Ten. Back to that detector. That actually sounds better. But it's not right. Anyway, we'll just see what we can find off camera. Okay, back into record now. And we're listening to 0 0.3 of a microvolt. 0 0.3, 0 0.15. We've got the sensitivity back. It was all out of alignment. I've just had to meticulously go through it and through it and through it with the adjustments which I've mentioned. There's one microvolt. There's three microvolts. Let's see what the S meter says with 100 microvolts, which should read S9 on the meter. Well, it's, do you know what? It's about there, isn't it? So, if we just adjust that, um, see if I've got any notes for what adjustment that is. S meter is RV3. I think RV3 is this one down here. I know these are very popular sets, but um, I don't see that many of them because they're so reliable. So we'll just pop the tool in there. Yes, it is. So 
set that for S9. There we go, S9. Pop the signal generator back down. 100, uh, 1 microvolt, 0 0.3 of a microvolt. Lovely. Leave it at 1. So that just leaves the squelch to set. So, uh, without looking at the service manual, where is it? It is... Would, do you think we could be in luck and this could be the one that hasn't been messed with? RV1. RV1 is the preset just here. I'll just zoom in a fraction. That one there. Now what we're going to do is we'll turn the signal generator off. Right down and then off. Set squash the, the threshold. There we go. Switch the signal generator back on. And let's see where it comes in. It comes in at 3 microns. I'd like better sensitivity than that. So we'll just see if we can back that off a fraction. See whether that's any good. Signal generator off. Signal generator on. Reset squelch. Signal generator on. And now it's still like better sensitivity than that. Just coming in now. Reset the squelch. Signal generator off. It's a bit of a faff, but it's worth it. Signal generator on. It's coming in at one microvolt. That's better. Now I'll set the squelch to full and see where that comes to. It's about S7. I think that's uh, enough. Actually, I'll tell you what, no, we'll just knock a fraction off that. Just uh, try that again. So we'll go back to nothing. Set squelch. Signal generator on. Coming in, hmm. It's coming in at what? One mi not point nine of a microvolt. No, that's not point nine. It's off at that. One point one, one point two, one point three. It's coming in at one point three micro. Ideally, I'd have liked it to be one. Let's see what the maximum is. Set maximum. That's S nine. I think that's the best compromise we're going to get. So it's 1.2 microvolts to open uh, at minimum and 100 microvolts to open at maximum, which is S9. Because if you live in a town area, you might have S9 or S8 of residual background noise. So that looks to me... Let's see what the service manual says on that. They'd like, they would like it to be more sensitive, so I'm just going to back that off a fraction. So we'll just try it again. Generator off. Set squelch. Generator on. Not not point nine of a microvolt. Okay. Set squelch to full. And S seven for it to come in. That's how it is. That's the best compromise. So we've set the squelch. We've set the S meter. We've set the receiver up, which was all over the place. And I reckon we will do an on the air test. Um, I've got Mr. C here this weekend, so he'll go for a drive tomorrow, and we'll put the radio through its paces. Thanks for watching.